Hey guys, right here I have a 2016 BMW 430i Coupe M Sport And today, I'm going to make a startup and full vehicle tour video of it Show you the features inside and out So, here is the key fob Let's go ahead and start it up first You do have welcome lights as you unlock the car if you leave the light switch on automatic and as you can see, the side mirrors are currently folded out Upon locking the car and pressing and hold on the lock button The side mirrors automatically folds in And upon unlocking, the side mirrors automatically folds out again Also, if you press and hold on the unlock button You are able to roll down both windows in the car simultaneously And to roll them back up together, just press and hold on the lock button As simple as that The 430i Coupe M Sport does come standard with Comfort Access which is basically BMW's version of a smart keyless entry and start system. So just have the key fob on yourself, the car is currently unlocked. To lock the car, press the ribbed area on any of the door handles. Long press the ribbed area to fold the side mirrors in. And to unlock the car, just tap the area behind the door handles. Also, as you open the doors, the windows dip down to clear the door frame And that is because the windows are frameless With Comfort Access, a push button start system is standard as well So. To start the F32 4 series, make sure the key fob is inside the car Put your foot on the brake and press the start button to the left of the steering wheel The F32 4 series comes with an electric rack and pinion power steering system with the M Sport trim, you get an M leather wrapped steering wheel with thick sport grips at 10 and 2 and the M badging on the bottom spoke. The 430i is only available with an 8 speed sport automatic transmission in Malaysia. This transmission has sport mode and steptronic manual shifting, either by the gear lever or the pedal shifters on the steering wheel. Front and rear parking sensors are standard To the right of the gear lever, the bottom button turns on or off the parking sensors While the top button activates the dynamic traction control system Or deactivates the dynamic stability control system Depending on how long you press it The switch in the middle controls the driving experience control driving modes Four modes are available Eco Pro, Comfort, Sport and Sport Plus Eco Pro enables the car to be more fuel efficient by reducing throttle response and optimizing the climate control settings. Comfort is the default mode. Sport and Sport Plus provides drivers with a more spirited drive, with the only difference being the driving aids turned off in Sport Plus. There is a louder exhaust setup in Sport and Sport Plus as well. Safety features on the 4 Series includes 6 airbags, anti-lock braking system with electronic brake force, distribution and brake assist, automatic stability control, dynamic stability control, dynamic traction control, cornering brake control, adaptive brake lights, a tire pressure monitoring system, an immobilizer, and isofix child seat anchor points for the rear seats. As usual, let's turn on the hazards, lights, front and rear fog lights, take a look at the engine, and roll down the driver's side window. As part of the M Sport trim, 18-inch M double spoke style 441M light alloy rims are standard. The rims on this car are wrapped in Bridgestone Potenza S001 run flat tires that measure 225-45R18 in front and 255-40R18 out back. Ventilated disc brakes are present all round, and the suspension consists of McPherson struts in front and a multi-link setup at the rear. 
M Sport cars also have the adaptive M Sport suspension with variable damper control and a 10mm lower ride height. When BMW decided to replace the E92 Coupe and the E93 convertible from the 3 Series family, the German company decided to rename them the 4 Series. The first body style to debut from this new family is the F32 4 Series Coupe, which came out at the 2013 Frankfurt Motor Show. Following this is the F33 4 Series Convertible at the 2013 Tokyo Motor Show, and the F36 4 Series Grand Coupe at the 2014 Geneva Motor Show. There is also the F82 M4 Coupe and the F83 M4 Convertible if more power is needed. Like its predecessor, the 4 Series is based on the 3 Series, and hence it does share a lot in common such as the platform, the interior design and some of the engine options. A facelift for the whole 4 Series lineup was introduced in March 2017 for the 2018 model year. The 430i is powered by a 2.0-litre, dual overhead cams, 16 valves, turbocharged inline 4 petrol engine with high precision injection, Valvetronic variable valve control, and double Venos variable camshaft control. Codenamed B48B20, this engine produces 249 horsepower between 5200 and 6500 rpm and 350 Nm of torque between 1450 and 4800 rpm. 0 to 100 km per hour takes 5.8 seconds and the top speed is 250 km per hour. With a 60 litre fuel tank, combined fuel consumption for the 430i Coupe Sport Automatic is 5.5 litres per 100 kilometres. 129 grams of carbon dioxide is emitted per kilometre, and the 4 Series is a rear wheel drive vehicle. The F32 4 Series was launched in Malaysia in October 2013. At launch, one could buy either the 428i Sport line, the 428i M Sport, or the 435i M Sport. Two more variants were added in April 2014, the standard 420i and the 420i Sport line. The 420i was updated in June 2016 with a new engine, and alongside this engine update was the introduction of the 430i, replacing the 428i. As of the end of May 2017, only the 420i and the 420i Sport line remains on sale in Malaysia. Exterior features of the 430i Coupe M Sport includes automatic auto leveling by xenon projector headlights, automatic wipers, LED daytime running lights, LED rear lights, LED rear number plate lights, front and rear fog lights, front and rear parking sensors, indicators on the side mirrors, auto dimming side mirrors, body colored door handles and side mirrors, BMW individual high gloss shadow line exterior trim, chrome kidney grille surrounds with the bars in high gloss black, dual chrome exhaust pipe and the M Aerodynamics package. You do have a bottle holder down there together with some storage. Right here you do have a speaker. And right here you do have your mirror controls, your window controls. All of the windows in this car are fully automatic in both directions. And you do have your rear sunshade control right here. To the right of the headlight switch, you do have the lever to adjust the brightness of the interior at night. And down below, you do have some storage. Just above the bonnet release lever, you do have the button to pop open the boot lid. And you do have M door sills for this car. The driver's seat in this 430i Coupe M Sport does get full powered adjustments. With all of your controls located right down there together with your 2% memory support and your side bolstering support. The only manual Adjustment for this seat is your thigh support adjusted via this lever right here. To gain access to the back, locate this lever, pull it, flip the seat back forward, then use this button to move the whole seat forward.
All right. So let's go ahead and see how she revs. The 430i Coupe does come standard with a dual zone automatic climate control system. All of the controls are located right here, it is quite simple to use. You do have your fan, speed and the middle, different modes for the driver's side, different modes for the front passenger, front and rear defrost, recirculation, air conditioning, driver's side temperature with your maximum air conditioning button, and to the left you do have your passenger side temperature with your automatic mode. Down below you do have a bit of storage together with a couple of cup holders, and right in here, you do have a cigarette lighter or a power outlet depending on what you use it for. You can cover up this area if you do not want it exposed. Below the hazard light switch, you do have your central locking button. The 430i gets the navigation system professional head unit with an 8.8 inch high definition color display, various media connectivity options, hard disk drive based navigation, BMW connected drive services, and a hi fi loudspeaker system with 205 watts of power and 9 speakers. I must say the 430i Coupe does have quite a good stock sound system. The display right above is controlled using your set of controls located down the center console. You do have your media, radio, menu, telephone and navigation shortcut buttons, your back and option buttons as well as this knob in the middle that goes up, down, left, right, scrolls to left, scrolls to right and clicks down for enter. Now let's start with the menu that's right above and that is multimedia. To select that particular option, push the knob down. Right here, we can access your CD, DVD menu, your music collection, your external devices, as well as your sound system settings. Right here, you can adjust your bass treble, balance and fader, your various volume settings, and reset the system back to factory settings. To go back, click the knob to the left once. Now, under external devices, you do have your USB, auxiliary, Bluetooth audio streaming, and all that. And since we are playing music from the USB menu, here we are. You do have your current song playing information to the right, from top to bottom, you do have the artist, album, song number, title, and your song duration. To the left, 
you can search for music, look at your playlist, look at your currently playing playlist, import new music, go back a song and go forward a song. If you click the knob to the right, we can bring up a list of options where you can turn on your split screen display. You can turn off the display as well right here. You can show your external devices on the owner's handbook, activate random, activate Bluetooth and bring up your Bluetooth information. To go back, click the knob to the left. Now to go back to the main menu, we can click the knob to the left until we reach the main menu or hit the menu button straight away. Under radio, we can access your FM AM menus and look at your list of available radio stations in the area, perform a manual tuning search and whatnot. Under telephone, we can dial a number, look at your phone book, look at your list of calls, and manage your Bluetooth devices. Under navigation, obviously we can enter the map, use the knob to zoom in and out. If we click the knob down, we can bring up your list of options where you can test spoken instruction, bring up your interactive map, and turn off the status information. To the left, we can bring up your spoken instructions or mute it. We can also continue or um, stop your guidance, your route information and route options, your points of interest, traffic information, and all that. You can also enter your destination, look at your recent destinations. Under office, we can store contacts, messages, and notes. Under connected drive, you do have your concierge services, your messages. You can also um, get your mobile care number, hotline number, and whatnot from here. Under vehicle information, you do have your vehicle status menu. Tells you your tire pressure monitoring system or level, your service indicators, and your check control. Under sport displays, tells you how much power and torque you are using. Under trip computer, you do have your start time, journey time, distance, average consumption, and average speed. You can reset these values on. Um, the start of any road trip so you do have a rough estimation on how long your road trip has taken and whatnot. Under your onboard computer you do have your range, average consumption and average speed. If you do have your navigation system active, this menu will also show you your distance to destination and estimated time of arrival. Right above you do have your quick reference, picture search and owner's handbook which basically allows you to search for the different parts of the car on the system itself rather than through the book that BMW supplies you when you buy the car. Owner's handbook allows you to spell out that particular search option. Picture search allows you to search via the different parts of the car. And quick reference allows you to search via the different most used parts of the car. And right above you do have your efficient dynamics menu with your fuel consumption information, driving style analysis and all that. And lastly, settings. Under settings, you do have your various display settings, time and date, language, units, touchpad settings, connections, sound, speed, lights, and all that. You can even perform a software update right here and GPS tracking. Down below, you do have your volume and power knob. Your mode button allows you to switch between your different media options, your FM AM button, Obviously, like it says, you can switch between FM AM. And right here, you do have your eight customizable buttons where you can store, say, your favorite radio station, your favorite contact, your favorite navigation address, and whatnot. You do have your seat track buttons right here, eject button for the CD DVD player, which is located right here. The CD player is MP3 compatible. Right above the start stop engine button, you do have the button to activate or deactivate the vehicle's automatic start stop feature. If you do have the feature activated, the engine will momentarily shut off when you arrive at a stop, such as a traffic light or a traffic jam, to save that extra bit of petrol or diesel depending on what the car is running on.
as shown earlier on, this car does have power folding side mirrors. To fold the side mirrors in from the inside, press this button. Also, as mentioned earlier on, you do have your rear sunshade control right here. On the steering wheel, the left spoke houses your cruise control and speed limiter controls, while the right spoke houses your audio controls with your volume, your different mode selection button, your seat track wheel, your voice control button, and your on-hook off-hook button for the Bluetooth telephone system. On the right stalk, you do have your wiper controls. If you press the button at the end of the wiper stalk, you can activate your automatic wipers. And on the left stalk, you do have your indicator controls. If you locate the button at the end of the indicator stalk, you can go through your multi-information display located within the instrument cluster. Right now, you do have the range, average fuel consumption, instant fuel consumption, average speed, date, turning the display off, and back to your range. The steering wheel in this car is tilt and telescopic. You adjust it using this lever right here. Adjustable front center armrest. With storage down below, you do have your auxiliary and USB ports right in here as well. Auto dimming, rear view mirror, and you do have your interior lights right above. You do have your SOS emergency button right up here as well. Sun visor for the driver's side does get a vanity mirror and a couple of LED lights. Alright. So I guess that's it for the startup. We can turn it off right now. And continue with the rest of the tour. To open up the boot lid, you can either use the button inside the cabin, the touchpad right beneath the BMW badge on the boot lid itself, or the button on the key fob. Boot space in the 4 Series Coupe measures 445 litres. For additional boot space, you can fold down the rear seats by the levers on either side of the boot next to the hinges. To the left of the boot, you can find a storage net and a power outlet. To the right of the boot, there is a storage strap, the vehicle's battery, and the toolkit. Under the boot floor, you do have more storage. You do have your window control right there with your speaker right there and down below you do have a bottle holder with some storage. The front passenger seat in this car does get full powered adjustments as well with the same set of adjustments as found on the driver's side, it just loses out on the memory settings. 
It is the same method to gain access to the back as found on the driver's side, which is pull this lever and then press this button to move the seat forward. I did set the front passenger seat to a position that I would feel comfortable in. I'm about 5 foot 7, which is about 1.7 meters tall. There is a bit of room to stretch out my feet underneath the front passenger seat. As for leg room, I get about this much. And my head is actually touching the roof, so not a lot of head room right there. However, as for leg room, you do have cutouts on the front seat backs that help with that extra bit of leg room. You also do have storage pockets on the front seat backs. Rear aircon vents in the middle, power outlet below the aircon vents. You do have some storage right here, and you do have a rear centre armrest with cup holders. You do have speakers on both sides as well, your rear interior lights right above. Lockable glove box, it is of a nice size. And if I did not show you earlier on, once you close the doors, the seat belt actually extends out using this mechanism so you don't have to reach all the way to the back. Quite an interesting feature. Sun visor for the front passenger does get a vanity mirror with a couple of LED lights as well. And once you open the doors, the seat belt automatically goes back. Alright, so let's start it up with the door closed. Alright, so that's it for the startup and full vehicle tour video of this 2016 BMW 430i Coupe M Sport. Thanks for watching and goodbye.